Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro. Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm really excited about this uh, tutorial we're about to do because what we're going to be doing is taking our our bullet journal page that we created a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to show you how to turn that into a master page in a new file that will allow you to kind of use your your bullet journal page in a digital format and allow you to create stuff from scratch and still kind of have an idea of um, how big of things that you're creating on the page. Basically everything that you would do inside of a bullet journal and using your bullets for, you can also use it in a digital form and then what's great about it is you can turn the bullet journal part of it or like the bullets, you turn them off and you've now got your freshly designed page without any dots in the background. Uh, which is really really cool so at least I think it is I hope you do as well so I've already opened up our file but if you remember from a couple of weeks ago when we created this file uh, as you can see here I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a little bit <coughs> we took the dots out from the left hand side the first row left hand side of page one and in page two we took uh, let's see, my computer's going to be a little slow today. Um, we took out the, the row on the right. We really don't need to worry about anything from page two because what I'm going to show you right now, uh, we only need page one because uh, it only works off of the, app, the active page that you're in. Whoops, uh, get out of that. Let's go ahead and view the whole entire page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start way up here and I'm going to click and drag over top of this first row of dots and I'm going to let go and I'm going to hold down control and shift and I'm going to grab a hold of these and make a copy and I got to move kind of slow because my my computer's trying to do a lot of processing right now as you can see it's working really really slow but now uh, when I go ahead and zoom in here, whoops, I did not mean to do that. When I zoom in here, you can see that we've created, we've created that, or basically recreated that row um, over here on the side. With that all done, we're gonna go up to File, and we're gonna say Save As. I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna drop this inside of the Happy Planner Pages uh, folder that I created and I am going to underneath the save as type I'm gonna drop down and I'm gonna make this into a PNG or a portable networks graphics format um, I'm also going to change the resolution on this and I'm gonna go ahead and say high resolution for uh, printing or commercial press 300 dpi and we'll go ahead and say OK, and I will leave it as bulletjournalpages.png and say save. All right, so now we are all done. Uh, actually, it's, it's taking a little bit. So you notice that my computer slowed way down. I kind of get this little uh, spinny thing. Not only am I doing the screen capture recording on my computer, but we're working with a file with all those dots inside of separate... Um, uh, everything's inside of a separate text box and so it's really really slowing down my computer right now so we're just gonna give it a second here and wait for the computer to respond awesome there we go um, it took about 30 seconds uh, maybe almost a minute before my computer finally responded now I can go ahead and close out of this file. I'm, I'm going to tell it not to save those changes I made. I don't, I don't need to anymore, and I want to preserve that file in case I want to go and print out some more bullet journal pages. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to open a new publisher document. Go ahead and make it a blank, 8.5 by 11. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over here in the page navigation. I'm going to right click on the page go down to master pages and say edit master pages I'm going to go to the page design tab tell it to do zero on the margins so no margins and then from the insert I'm gonna say a picture and I'm gonna go into 
the Happy Planner page, there's our PNG. So wherever you saved your PNG, um, you're going to go find that and double click. Now notice it did not um, make this the exact size of the page. And the reason is, is publisher thinks that it's smarter than you and knows what it, it wants it thinks that it knows what you want to do and so it's trying not to put it all the way out to the edge because it knows it needs like a quarter of an inch of space where it's not going to print so it shrinks it down um, but we actually want to expand this so we're going to grab a hold of this corner and drag it out until we see the blue lines light up and then let go and we're going to go ahead and grab the bottom corner opposite it and drag it out until we see it bump into, um, you know, we see that light, the blue line light up. Blue lines light up, good, we, and we let go. So we've now done all we needed to do, right? This is the master page for, I'm just going to make sure that those are all the way in place. Um, we've now created our, our bullet master page. Check this out. I can say close the master page and now we can see all of those bullets in the background and I can't I can't do anything I can't click on them right right now I'm trying to click it won't select any of them it won't even select the picture that we created for the background check this out if I say insert a blank page it automatically has all the bullets on it how cool is that now how can we how can we use this though so with that in place we already know that all of our our dots are a quarter of an inch all over this page every quarter of an inch up and down every quarter of an inch left and right which means we know how big things are now that we're placing on the page so this is what we can do i'm going to go ahead and, and uh, zoom in a little bit we're going to go up here to the top of the page and just like we were creating um, I don't know, let's, let's do like a, a notes page or something like that. And so I'm going to go to the shapes tab and I'm going to choose a rounded rectangle. And now if I click right in the center of one of these dots, click and drag, and, and I can even hold down the shift key so that I'm getting a perfect square if I want to. I can drag it out and when I let go I know that this box is now exactly one inch tall by one inch wide. I don't have to put out any guides or anything because we have those bullets in the background. Uh, of course we can go to the shape fill and we can say no fill and now we can kind of see what's in the background which is you know our bullets. Awesome. Okay, um, so that's not doing much yet. Let's go ahead and go back to the Home tab. We'll draw in a text box. And let's just go ahead and drag that out to here. Um, we'll center this up and we'll say, what do we want to call this? Um, my Awesome Notes page. All right, so from here we can format. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's do Arial Black. We can punch that up. I can see right away um, exactly how big the text is. So right now it's like a quarter of an inch from top to bottom. So that looks pretty awesome. And let's go ahead and I'm, I'm going to not worry about the bounding box here. Like if you look at the lines that show up, and instead I'm going to focus on exactly where that text is and I'm gonna bump this over I'm using my arrow keys right now just to bump this over and I'm going to drop that right there so we know we're a quarter of an inch away from this little box and this little box could be for maybe the day of of the month I don't know we can put whatever we wanted in that little box maybe you want to stick a sticker on there um, after the page is printed I don't know uh, let's go ahead and go to the shapes tab we're gonna grab ourselves a line Actually, let's start right here, and I'm going to hold down the shift key to make it a straight line, and we'll stop right there. Okay, so this is going to be our notes page, and um, I want to show you now how we get rid of, I'm not going to do too much on this page, you could do all kinds of stuff. Uh, you could insert tables. Um, you know, I can say, hey, let's go ahead and insert a table. Uh, let's do it a two by six. Um, and we could, we could do all kinds of, 
of formatting on this on this table now if we wanted to. Uh, we could create lines. There's so much you can do with it. Anyways, beside the point, we're going to get rid of that. What I wanted to show you is, is once you're all done designing, you can design stuff all over this page. Once you're all done, all you have to do to get rid of the dots everywhere is come over to the page. Now, there's two ways to do this. One, you could go through your whole entire file. You could add as many pages as you wanted. And when you're all done designing all your pages, you could just go into the master page and say, um, edit the master page, and you could delete this out. So let's not delete it. Let's just slide it over here to the side. Say close master page, and now it's going to be gone from every one of your pages. So you want to do that the very last thing after your entire file is all done. Um, but if you want to just design one page and then turn things off, let's uh, undo this. There we go. Um, you want to be able to just turn off the dots so that you could re-add them in later really easily. You can right click on the page, go down to master page and say none. And now you'll notice it left the master page and if I come down here and say insert a blank page, it's still applying the A master but this page is all done. So now, boom, we zoom out and we have my awesome notes page which is not really that awesome, it's super bland, but at least you got the idea of kind of what you can do and, and how big that it's going to be. Make sense? Um, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'd love to see, I don't, I don't want to show too much of what you can do because I want you to use your imagination and jump in and do some awesome stuff. So um, yeah, drop down in the comments and let me know what you think and if this is helpful for you. And uh, that's going to be it for tonight. I look forward to seeing what you guys are able to create. As always, if you're not already following the channel and you're loving these videos and want to see more, please subscribe so you'll get updates every time a new video goes live. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.